Hi friends, it was quite busy week compared to the other ones. Well, this, this, a little bit of this, and then this. Here, approximately, I can say one and a half spools. Oh, approximately one and a half spools was kind of wasted according to the research and printing fails and you know how it happens when you make something new. So this week I was busy with this piggy bank slot machine. It turned out pretty awesome. So you insert your coins, it spins the wheels and then it gives you the coins out of this coin dispenser. <laughs> okay, so let's jump in the video and see how it's made. So from the last project here on the top right corner, I've got left LED dot matrix display. And I was kind of messing around with it, checking some code examples, but suddenly one of the examples from Arduino really get my attention. That was example with the name Simple Slots. So immediately I connected all devices that was required and started designing 3D printed slot machine piggy bank. My 3D printer was printing non-stop for the whole week and I had two major fails exactly on the same spot. So what I did, I just rotated the model in Cura for 180 degrees and somehow that solved this problem. So I wasted approximately 32 hours of printing, but that didn't stop me and I carry on. Finally all the parts have been printed and it's time to start device assembly. I get rid of tons of supports, sandpaper and make all the models smooth. I make sure that all the mechanics works, nothing is pitched, connected electronics and double check one more time. So when all parts fit together, I can start preparing them for the paint and solder all electronics. I make sure that electronics were good after soldering and prepare display. I used tint film in order to make my display look like one whole piece. Then I installed display in my enclosure and of course any DIY project requires a little bit of hot glue. As a button trigger that starts the spin of a slot machine, I simply used two wires. So when the coin passes through, it triggers the mechanism and the wheels start turning. And then suddenly I've noticed that the coil spins in the wrong direction. So I modify this error in the code and it works perfectly. Now when I'm satisfied with the result, it's time to apply some lubricant for the gears, 
double check final time that everything fits together nicely and glue top and the bottom part forever. Ok, looks good to me. So let's get rid of the middle line with filler and then we're going to paint it. So I put it in a corridor and pretty much my friends when they come to visit me they drop 1-2 euros inside, sometimes more. <laughs> it's pretty much interesting, you know, to save the money this way. Of course I will put all the links in the description, but you know, do it at your own risk because it takes a lot of time. So follow my channel, learn how to 3D model and Maybe one day you will make something better than this. And this video for sure deserves like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.